are inheriting a lot of your fears from your parents, your grandparents, your ancestors. And with this beautiful practice, we just get rid of that belief and I watch it go to the Creator's light. My name is Jill and I'm a Theta Healer. I'm a practitioner of an amazing energy healing approach called Theta Healing. It's called Theta Healing because you go into a Theta brainwave and you connect easily and effortlessly with the creative energy that's all around us. And as a part of that connection, your faith gets bigger, your hope gets bigger, your intuition gets bigger, and the more you practice, the better you get. So all you need to do with this approach is to say yes. So free will is a very big piece. The other thing that you need is to believe in some sort of creative energy. So it is very easy for you to just say yes to releasing resentment, releasing anger, releasing things that are holding you back. And then we use this really cool thing called muscle testing that is based on applied kinesiology. So I will use your arm out to the side and you will go weak on something that is not true for you. So we have limiting beliefs and then we have things called downloads that you may not know. You might not have learned from your family or from your parents how to live with joy. You might not have learned from your parents how to receive unconditional love. So there's several things that usually people need when they come to me for a session. And those are some of the things that I will muscle test. So with muscle testing, as a practitioner, I might make you make an okay sign and then I try to pull apart your fingers. So that would be one way to see if you're strong or weak on a particular belief. People who do applied kinesiology usually do this testing with nutrition but we're using this response to tell us yes or no. So you become your own lie detector test. And this is to figure out what kind of subconscious beliefs you are holding on to. So there's several things that usually people need when they come to me for a session. And those are some of the things that I will muscle test. You can also muscle test standing up and you'll find your body swaying forward or back for yes or no. So your body becomes like a pendulum telling the truth about what your subconscious mind believes. I am a Theta Healer because I know that this approach works and I see people le leaving a session with me where they come in and they're feeling discouraged and they leave and their heart energy is beautiful and open. So I want to encourage you to find your own spiritual practice and develop your skills as an intuitive spiritual being rather than feeling caught in patterns, we can release those for you. So you can see me for a session, you can see me for a class. This approach really works. So if you think about the research that they're doing now, the mice studies that they're doing, where they teach a little mouse to be afraid of a color or a scent, and then the babies of that mouse are afraid of the same thing, so they've, they're starting to prove what we as Theta Healers already know, that you are inheriting a lot of your fears from your parents, your grandparents, your ancestors. And with this beautiful practice, we just get rid of that belief and I watch it go to the Creator's light. So just as a reminder, your body and your mind are connected. You can't get away from your beliefs. You can't get away from your body needing care and you've got mind, body, and spirit. And we know that those things all work together. If you have any questions, if this interests you at all, I would invite you to call me or email me at jill at thetagrace.com. And theta is because of the theta brainwave, and grace is because how I feel when I'm doing this beautiful approach. Graceful and it's easy. Mm -hmm.